Good morning and welcome to the Forex Market Wrap, brought to you by Pepperstone. It's Thursday the 10th of August 2017 and I'm Darren Sindon. Let's take a look at overnight changes then, any price moves we need to be aware of. And today I just want to focus on one thing, and that's these three changes here, all of which are related to the Swiss franc, clear evidence of some safe haven flows returning to the Swiss franc, probably driven of course by the increasing tensions in the Korean peninsula. Um, <coughs> so here's a chart of uh, dollar Swiss, um, quite a simple line chart here, but I'll just put in this uh, dashed red line here a little bit of, uh, of, of support, shall we say, uh, for the pair, but here's the potential I think for dollar Swiss perhaps to come back into its uh, July lows uh, sub 95. So watch for that over the coming days. So right, what's on the calendar? Any events that may move the market today? Uh, yeah, there are a few things on the calendar worth uh, worth noting. First of all, we've got some manufacturing production and industrial production data out of the UK at 0830 GMT. We've also got a three month uh, estimate of uh, UK GDP for G uh, three months to July, I should say, that's coming out at uh, 12 GMT. And then the focus switches to the States where we have uh, initial jobless claims and uh, continuing jobless claims at uh, 1230 GMT. Obviously, they come out every Thursday. But we've also got uh, the Fed's William Dudley speaking at 1400 GMT and then at uh, 1800 uh, the monthly budget statement. Uh, from the US for July. Obviously the debt ceiling is looming there uh, so that'll be, that'll be probably quite well scrutinised. And then to finish the day we have uh, business PMI from New Zealand uh, for July at 22.30 and an hour later at 23.30 we have Governor Philip Lowe of the Reserve Bank of Australia speaking uh, to finish the trading day. Okay, breaking news and comment that's caught my eye. Well, Asian stocks were mixed overnight on the heightened regional tensions. Uh, Hong Kong equities were lower by as much as 1.7% in late morning trade. Staying in Asia, the People's Bank of China has moved to strengthen the renminbi's trading bands versus the US dollar. Abu Dhabi has started an informal boycott of Western banks with links to Qatar. That uh, Gulf dispute rumbles on unabated. Meanwhile, the French telecoms group Altis is said to be considering a whopping $185 billion bid for its US rival Charter Communications. If that goes ahead, of course, that could well be supportive for US equity indices. OK, let's have a look at food for thought. Something for you to take away into the, week, into the trading day with you. Uh, we saw a sharp drop in new machinery orders for June in Japan over both the year-on-year -year and month-on-month -month metrics, with uh, the year-on-year -year orders falling by 5.2% and the, the month-on-month -month orders uh, dropping by minus 1.9%. Uh, the question is, is this a one-off or is it indeed a warning of a slower Japanese economy to come? And here's dollar yen uh, pot plotted against uh, the year-on-year uh, -year, uh, new machinery orders. And, and you can see quite a sharp downturn there as you... And one wonders whether uh, you know the, the yen will uh, will weaken accordingly. Okay, please take a moment to read the risk warning. Uh, trading CFDs and FX on margin can be a risky business. If you're in any doubt about those risks or have any other questions, please contact your Pepperstone account representative. Thank you for your time, and we look forward to speaking to you tomorrow.